What's cracking, everybody? This is the Carter 117, aka Hodor, ya boy. And welcome back to the Overwatch Custom Elite Controller Configuration Series. Click on a hero's picture to view their custom configuration. In this video, we're going to take a look at a custom setup for Farah, the high flying missile mother of nature. Justice reigns from above! In order to get an idea of a good setup for Farah, let's take a look at her abilities. Y is her barrage ultimate, and it is exactly as it sounds. Missiles rain from above. LB is the jump jet ability where you jump really high in the air, making it easier to get kills with her rocket launcher. The passive ability, hover jets, which is the A button, usually goes hand in hand with this ability. RB is her concussive blast rockets. They pretty much push people out of the way from the blast like this. Surprise, motherfucker. Clearing the area. All right, now that we know Farah's abilities, let's take a look at my in-game sensitivities. Go to options and hit RB twice. Once you're on the controls page, hit A. This will drop down a menu displaying a control profile for each character. We are going to go down to Farah and select it. We do this to only change Farah's sensitivities. And like I've said before, these settings are very subjective, so mess with them to find out what's comfortable with you. Here's a great place to start though. I have both the horizontal and vertical sensitivities set to 20, and sometimes I will drop them down to 18. Just want to make a note too, if you're using a taller stick on the right stick, be sure to increase your sensitivity. It really helps with your aim. Now let's take a look at Ferris configuration in the Xbox Accessories app. First thing I look for when I'm mapping my buttons is for a layout that minimizes the amount of time my thumbs are off of the sticks. Since I use the jump jet and the hover jet abilities the most, but not at the same time to take advantage of the rocket launcher, I assign the jump jet to the left trigger and the hover jets to the left bumper. Then I put the concussive blast ability on the lower left hand paddle. Since using the barrage ultimate requires you to hover in the air while you're still being able to aim, I decided to put the ultimate on the right bumper. This makes it easier to rain destruction down on those motherfuckers. Justice reigns from above. Personally, I like to use the short sticks when playing FPS games, but that's a personal call. You guys could figure out what you're most comfortable with and use that. I would just say if you switch sticks to give it a week or two to get used to it. For the left stick, I set it to aggressive, and then I turn up the aggressiveness to the ninth tick mark. Setting it this way makes it so that we can strafe quicker and make you a harder target to hit. I set the right thumb stick to aggressive, and then I fine tune the sensitivity to the seventh tick mark. Since she does not need to be all that accurate, not as much as a sniper, an aggressive snappy sight picture is all that's really needed. I suggest that in all FPS games that you lock both the triggers by sliding the trigger lock buttons on the back downward, as well as setting the triggers to 0 and 1. This creates a hair trigger effect, which can ultimately give you more bullets downrange. In regards to vibration, turn it off. Or if you need a tiny bit of feedback when you're getting shot, I suggest setting the left and right main vibrations to half a tick. This is just enough feedback but not enough to throw off your aim. And that's my configuration for Farah. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, as well as check out my Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter, whatever other way you want to check out what videos I'm posting. I definitely appreciate it. The best way to get a hold of me is definitely on Twitter or Facebook. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm out.